Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, V. Trauma team. Don't forget, you're worth it. my new punching bag. This gave me a next-gen ass whooping, he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Sale. Only top shelf gear. mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You will get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start the kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of.
local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the no tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. Exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun. Finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Get some more Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coke. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, the D-Buck. She's the one who hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm -hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow, Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. It took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it, you move on. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I say. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. My face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. I'm fine. 
Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, I don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but... Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. This guy? Gracias, adios. We're lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Checking them out? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Don't touch me! Mm. Old Drax's guard. Uh, you can see the... Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Vic. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. 
hitting the major leagues. Knee tag that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but 
first time's rarely the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I'd also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it auto worked like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. Come on, punch him. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Yeah. 
would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. <laughs> Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned. But I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past. And Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much like you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of higher grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. 
get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll. Everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Cortito's a big deal. Literally at nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> she won. You don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junky snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. That's not a way, boy. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
There you are. Let me hear what you squared away. Z Book show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so. So Dex already paid the maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. We're strong. Survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. You know what they want, how they get it, and what this is.
Lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions? Caliber snipes aimed at your skull. You don't let me go. Your dogs will have to glue you back together. He's lying. Try that again, and it's two million volts. Got it? Do a sweep now. Now listen, please. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... <sighs> him you can let go. 
want to hear what he has to say. I need a bot. Flathead mob. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! The cubs are any good at dead! I can't take you down with her! I want to talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. I don't think I've ever seen security like this in the Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle.
transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. Lace. Tough to get your hands on. Gotta have a good source. What's it do? Ups dwarfs and adrenaline to the point you feel no pain. Trip so intense it verges on psychosis. Corpse fed it to their fighting legions during the Corp Wars. Cyber psychos pop the tabs like candy. Vaporizing it mellows the burn without killing any of the effect. Come on, give it a whirl! Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, strange princess. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT Zero D12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it in access locks using our soft. Once it's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? It'll have to do. See you, Craig. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. All right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. I'm talking to you! Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without that in the fucking eye! <laughs> Want it or not, wait. I got places to be. 
know, he never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> and he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? You should search! Bring it, cocksuckers! Grab the gear. Bot controls. Quick. How we could do that? Armored shutter. There's no way we're getting through that. Old ass factory, though. Bound to be tech tunnels, and shafts, and shit all over the place. Can't hurt to try. Got the set, bot and controller. Then let's go. Let's get out of here. Dying for some fresh air. Nice. Ah, I can taste it. 
Ryan's production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. Really no other way.
ready to fight.
Let's get out of here. around everywhere. Past the gate. We can talk there. Like a military bitch. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. When I say something, I do it. Keep my word. Mm-hmm. Me too. Heard one of the Flatheads is missing. Must have fallen off the truck along the way. Guess Militech will never find it. Pleasure doing business. Secure the area! Time we were on our way, Kanan. Holy shit, V. I was sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know? Do some shots. Ahí luego, V. How are things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits of you and Brick had shaken on him. How'd you get him on board? You use the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meat's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Park will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy. Toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog. Ask for a BD and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Maybe you can tell me about it. Another round over here, Stan. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Gonna say something? What's on the menu? I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. No, don't cry. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? 
Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny Nothing's girl wrong. like me really? do for a hunk? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm waiting. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. 
Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Talking about data, Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even you boosted it doesn't day? grasp. Like anything else? Exactly what you need. So what's on the no, table? No, no, don't think. Yuri Nobu Suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD Rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, 
Not the latest member of your no, crew. No, don't cry. You Try got this, forget. though. So, sure. you'll be a good boy. Sure. Try you blindly. Soon. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop the inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking's business as usual for these guys. Their minds wander to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So. I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me 
give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! Wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor Plan console simple. to uncap. Do nothing Try it. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get it. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Cream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Got roll got it got back it. to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out the piece of the cycle from the start. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Fuck! On you ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Stuff. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? okay? We have with you today are two flavors. 
Cody and yeah, Serpent. Everybody! Oh. You suck a bag of dicks, okay? Eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and yeah. Serpent. Everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Now I can do so you I swear to God! The oh, yeah, hey. Sometimes you can it analyze sounds... extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy.
Alright, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out. Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no! Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will let me. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Noted. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Get on. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. What? Oh, we... Make yourself comfortable. I need a mid finish. We shall see. Do you? My father's a tired. Visual is all great. Frozen bubble. I 
I said. No! Then, you shall perish for a good cause. Make yourself comfortable. I need a... With Mark for couple, I need to finish. We shall see soon enough. I need to see soon. See soon enough. My father's a tired. Yeah, you love him. My father's a tired. Jealous of the energy. Yeah, you love him. I need a mini mini nap. With my clothes, make yourself comfortable. With my comfortable. I need a mini mini nap. With my clothes again. Look at what you have. One said no. One no. You should cause. Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. Saboroid Alpine, Arivi Romyati, stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have We have not seen either of you. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded, safety's on. Good to know though, once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details of special control container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip.
Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Real up. Dark set for that. Saboroy is an actual despot. I'm set for that. Sig matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk. Well? What do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. 
Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. Things looking, Mr. V. Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki right, was worth our time. Beautiful. T Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all yeah. set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Uh -huh. Great. Be there in no time. Uh -huh. See you, Mr. 4 a.m. last night, Gina and me signed and she was making stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Ugh, still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah, give me a sec. 